Hi, hello, and good afternoon. My name is Amanda, and welcome to the Dunn Creative. In today's pick a card reading, we're going to figure out what's going to happen for you in June 2019. But if for some crazy reason you're watching this, you know, next year or the next year or whatever, just the fact that you stumbled upon this reading means there's something here that needs your focus. Go ahead and keep watching if that's the case. Otherwise, if you're here, in May or June of 2019, then welcome. And if you're new to pick a card readings, try to pick with your intuition or your gut and not with your eyes or, ooh, that's my favorite number, I'll pick that. Just try to use your gut instinct or your very first instinct to decide which pile, or if more than one pile calls to you, then that's fine too. I've really been enjoying seeing your comments and how these videos have been helping you. It really warms my heart to know that I can offer even a little bit of guidance. Um, so thank you so much for letting me know. It really helps me know that I'm doing this for a reason and that it's not just in vain. So thank you so much for that. When you're done selecting your pile or piles, go ahead and check the description box below for the timestamps. And I'll also try to pin it as the top comment, so go ahead and check there. Okay, group number one, what can you expect in June 2019? I'll go ahead and put these up here too. More room. Okay. Okay, and without even really reading anything, the first thing that really stands out to me is all this orange. I mean, you have orange in almost every card. And orange is represents that sacral chakra, that creativity, that sexual energy. And it's funny, too, because it's time to give birth to new ideas. You know, that womb energy, that creative energy. A lot of you are going to be using that to create with and to make these new beautiful beginnings for yourselves. You know, back to this card, it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations, and I'm watching over you, guiding and protecting you during these changes. So yeah, there is a lot of change coming up, but it's a good change and exciting change and change you've been waiting a long time for. And it's funny, you did get the summer solstice card, which during June is the summer solstice, so you're really radiating this power and this, you know, leadership, but you don't want to radiate it so much that it looks more like ego than passion and soul. Um, so just really watch the ego trying to take over this beautiful energy that you are working with this month. And watch your thoughts and just really hone in on what it is that you want and what it is you're trying to create here. Because you are trying to create something, whether you're writing a book or renovating your house or just doing something, painting a tablescape is almost what this looks like. And it says awakening your true self. It feels like a lot of you are giving birth to this energy and this new self, this, you know, you're finally stepping into your power, maybe for the first time in a long time. And it's about time for some of you that you that you do take on that role of a leader and um but at the same time don't be afraid to accept help from others and those of you that are starting your own business I do see a few of you that this new creative endeavor is your new business and you're you know worrying about how am I going to market this how are people even going to know this business exists you are uncertain about these things but you you have to know that you do have help I mean even though you are kind of a one-man show in a lot of these instances here, you know, this guy here, he's, he's there. He's literally got her back, and you're the same way. You, you have all this help. You know, I see these little orbs just, you, you just have to call on this help. You have this, this inner power that you're really working with this month, but you can ask others for help, and just keep it positive. Just really... Watch your thoughts and and don't let other people talk down to you either. You know what's meant for you and, and if someone else is trying to keep you small or not let you burn as brightly as you're ready to burn, don't let them hold you back because you are ready 
to step into this power or this job or this relationship. You're ready to take on these new challenges and just don't let anyone tell you, oh, no, let me do that or no, you, you've you got this. You, you don't need their permission. You don't need anyone's permission. You, you're ready. You got this. Yeah, and I do see some of you worrying about fears like with money and if, and if it is one of you that is starting this new business, you know, like, how am I going to come up with the money to market this or buy this new equipment I need? Ask your guides and angels for help because they, they may show you this other side hustle that can help generate income or, you know, put you in contact with somebody that knows somebody that knows exactly what it is that you need and can help you out. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there and, and ask for help or even just, you know, get on social media and say, hey, does anybody know anyone that can do this? And, and again, you know, don't be afraid to trade and barter instead of, we always think, oh, I don't have the money to do this or that, but you don't always have to spend actual money. You just need to expend energy, trade energies. So, you know, if one person is painting a picture, the other person can for them, the other person can help them with their website, you know, things like that. Time is money. So when if you can put your time towards something and trade it for someone else doing the same for you, that is an energetic exchange. So don't always think, you know, oh, I don't have the money. I don't have the money because your time is your money and your talents are your money. And you do have a lot of talents that you can use to make things the way that you need them this month. So already, you know, you guys already have this game plan and you know what you need to do. You you may not know how it's going to get done in a lot of instances here, but you know what you need to do and it will start this ball rolling for this thing that you're trying to create. And even if, because the energy doesn't just cut off, oh, it's June 30th, let's cut this off. Okay, now we're into July energy. You know, these these energies bend and move and intertwine. So, you know, this June energy could be pouring into July and even pouring in from May. So it might take a minute, a hot minute for things to start really going the way that you need them to, but you really have this. And, you know, again, just keep that ego in check and don't let it boss everyone around. <laughs> even if you know you're right, just do it gracefully. And yeah, I think you guys are going to have a great month. So yeah, let me know in the comments um, what you guys have going on. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for checking out the reading. Okay, group number two. This is your reading for what to expect in June of 2019. Looks like you guys are going to have a very busy month. Lots of running around and even traveling, getting out there in nature it looks like. And you do have some blessings coming in. There is this rainbow kind of after the storm that you've been waiting for and it looks like June is the month that things are really going to start moving forward for you. And I think a couple of you do need to reach out to a friend and just make time to spend with your friends and have more fun because you have been, you know, doing a lot of things in solitude or have just been so busy with life that you just haven't had time to meet up with friends and, and catch up because I think we all need to do that once in a while. And again, you know, listen to the music. That's kind of a stop and smell the roses, stop and listen to the music. You've been going and going and going and I think you just need this month to even though you are going to be on the go and busy, you know, do take little moments throughout the day to stop and smell the roses, stop and listen to the music, and just really center yourself in the present moment so that you can just take a deep breath, you know, breathe, take several deep breaths, and just awaken your energy and release old patterns that are holding you back. And um, there are some of you that it says here this ca that caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. So, and I just got the vision of a house. So it looks like some of you are looking for a new rental or a new house to buy. And even in some instances, a new car. But it looks like 
you may need to do a little more research before you, you know, sign that contract or bite the bullet and, and go after this thing. And some of you are being too frivolous or too cautious with money. It could go either way. And it would, it would benefit you to just take some time and make a budget or a plan. Because it looks like, you know, with how busy you've been, it's almost like everything's just go, go, go. And you haven't really had time to really research, you know, if you're looking for a house, research the housing market or research, you know, that new car that you're looking to get. You really look into the pros and cons of, of what it is that you're going after this month because um, if you just make that quick, you know, split second decision, I think you might regret it. So just really take time to make those decisions before you just act, breathe, just do some meditating and, and the answers and the things that you need to do will come to you. And yeah, a lot of you are going to get out and have some fun and move your body. And this is a really good time, you know, I know we are already going to be into summer in June here, but this is a good time to start a new exercise routine or, you know, a new self-care routine where you're getting out and moving your body. Um, and even these little girls look like they're having a tea party, you know, just really tightening your diet. I think some of you have kind of not been eating as healthfully as you really hope, hope to. But, um, yeah, this is a great month to really hone in on getting that food and exercise plan really dialed in and figured out. And especially because you are busy, it, you know, you're on the go, so you're grabbing that fast food or just grabbing things that are easy to throw in the microwave and heat up instead of eating, you know, real healthy foods and making that home-cooked meal because who wants to cook in the summer, right? But you would really benefit from knowing where your ingredients are coming from and really taking the time to make your meals and do meal planning. All in all, this is just kind of a try to get your life back in order. If you've been so busy and all your little habits and routines have kind of gone off the rails, this is a good time to just check in with yourself, you know, in all the areas of your life, your relationships, your home, your work, your hopes and goals, um, you know, just all the little different areas of your life and make a plan. You know, if they're not, if things aren't running 100% optimally in the way you would like, just jot down a few things that you'd like to implement and things that you know you want to avoid. Like, oh, I've been drinking too much coffee. I just need to dial it down a little you know, just go back to one cup a day and and try to get yourself back on track. But this is going to be a really good time to get out and have fun because things that you've been working for, the blessings are coming and, you know, you really, you really need to take a moment to appreciate the thing, the good things in your life with this breathe and listen to the music. When we can slow down and this guy almost, yeah, he has his hand on his heart. So it's like, you know, slow down, put your hands on your heart and just feel that heart beating within you and really take the time to figure out what you need to do moving forward. So just try to slow things down just a little so you can get back on track. But other than that, I think that is your reading group number two. So thank you so much for checking this out and let me know in the comments what you guys have planned for June. I really love hearing from you guys. So thank you so much and I hope you come back to the Done Creative. Okay, group number three. This is your reading. What to expect in June 2019. Okay, group number three, it looks like you guys have, you know, recently come out of a difficult situation. You've really been unhappy for a while, and it looks like now's the time to emerge, just blossom. And some of you have been unhappy for a while in a lot of different areas of your life, but it looks like you know, with Dare to be Happy and then a new romance is imminent either with a newcomer or through ignited passion in your existing relationship. 
a lot of you, it looks like, has have been having some trouble in that department um, with a significant other, or if you are single, you know, just that wishing for that significant other in your life. And it looks like this month things are going to really be looking up in that department. Yeah, and even if you already are married or with somebody, just you might have this new spark in your relationship or this new thing you guys are doing together. And just it's really bringing a lot of fun for you this month. And a lot of you are going to be getting lots of signs and synchronicities. So pay attention to your surroundings. You'll notice these repetitive numbers, you know, 444, 555. You'll see these numbers like on license plates or billboards. There's a lot of valuable information. You can look up what these repeating numbers are. You can just go to Google and search. You know, if you're seeing 444 everywhere, Google angel number 444 and it'll give you a really cool description of what that number means. And it's almost always dead on with what situation you're dealing with. You're just like, oh my gosh, how did it know? But yeah, it's it's really cool. It seems like a lot of you have been spending a lot of time alone and just trying to figure out what you want. You're kind of starting to come out of that, but you would still benefit from keeping some quiet time to yourself, you know, meditating, soaking in the bath, and just really getting in touch with what you want. And it just seems like everybody's trying to get in touch with what they want in most of these readings. But my viewership is still pretty small, so a lot of people are crossing over from other piles and even other videos. So if you're getting a lot of these cards or same messages from me, that's why. And I do apologize if it just seems like I'm regurgitating the same things over and over, but, you know, the cards don't lie. They, they keep bringing up these same messages and... It's because a lot of times we need to hear something, you know, pay attention. We need to notice these things repetitively in order for it to really sink in and hit home for us. So, yeah, just pay attention to things. And then the life review, you know, take inventory of your life and figure out what you do need to change, what needs to be fixed or let go of in your life. And I do see a lot of you, you know, this guy's in a boat here this guy is a horse. Um, same thing. Um, so he's taking a trip. So some of you may be taking a trip across water, like overseas, or even just spending time on a lake or a river, somewhere in the water, just having a lot of fun. I mean, this guy's surrounded by other horsey pals. So yeah, I think a lot of you are going to be traveling and and to water especially, there's there's going to be a fun trip to the ocean or across the ocean for some of you. Know that you've earned these trips and vacations. You think a lot of you have been working hard. I think, you know, everybody's working hard these days. But just just know that you dare you deserve to be happy and dare to be happy. Just allow yourself time to enjoy life because a lot of us are grinding constantly and just not taking the time to really enjoy what it is that we are creating because we are creating our lives even if it seems like oh life's happening to me we're still working as a co-creator in that yeah just allow yourself to be happy and it's funny too because she's here she is in the water yeah I do see a lot of you going somewhere where there is water and it's really beneficial for you this month you, you really are going to be coming into your own and she's even near water. And she's in the water. I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out. Just just take that time. You know, water, it's funny because water, like if you're dreaming about water, water represents your emotions. And taking this quiet time, you can really get in touch with your emotions and emerge on the other side. Like if you've been having these heavy emotions, you can emerge on the other side of that. And you can really be happy. This this seems like it's going to be a really good, happy, fun, and exciting month for you guys with this fun water trip or trip to the lake or whatever. But yeah, I think that's all I'm getting for you guys. But it looks like a pretty good month. So nothing that I can see to worry about. So yeah, thank you so much for checking this out. And be sure to leave me a comment letting me know what you've got planned for June. And thanks again for checking out The Done Creative. I really hope to see you again soon.
Okay, group number four. This is your reading for June 2019. Let's see what we've got coming up for you guys. All right, group number four. It looks like a lot of you have been dealing with some big emotions and some big issues that have been reoccurring and you're even having this clear sentience like you you can just feel through your physical self and your emotional self where it is you need to be and what it is you need to do in life and then with this high priestess listen to your intuition have patience and consider carefully what you want before acting a lot of you guys have been having this inner struggle and I think this month you're finally going to start to find that inner power and you do realize you have options. It's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make changes and then with the full moon completion you're at the end of a cycle in your life. This kind of more heavier energy and in June and this summer it, it feels like you're really going to start coming out of that heaviness and one of the best ways to do that is to reach out to other people. We always think we have to do all these things ourselves, but we don't and we're not alone. And even if you just say like a silent prayer in your head to your guides and angels to help you, you know, make a decision or get through this situation that's difficult, that's all you have to do. And I think you guys have really done a lot of inner work and you deserve the best. There are... A lot of, you know, with their hands up or their hands out and reaching. You have a lot of abundance coming your way and you don't have to worry about how that's going to happen. Just know that it will and just be open to receiving that. Because a lot of you are intuitive and you felt, you know, with this situation you're coming out of now that you felt for a long time it wasn't right for you but you just didn't know the best way to get out of it or have it fall away from your life and now that you're coming out of that you're realizing that you know wow I have a lot more options than I thought I did and you know as long as you can reach out you you have the help available to you all you have to do is ask and you're really going to be finding that inner power and just figuring out what it is that you need to do with your life and it would benefit a lot of you to take a vacation. And I know, um, you know, it's summer. That's kind of what people do. They save their vacation time for summer. Take some time to get out and explore your city or just go on a new tri a trip to somewhere new. Because when we can get out of our regular comfort zone and the regular places we visit and we go somewhere new or somewhere far away, it really puts us in this mindset where we're really paying attention to what's around us because it's it's all new. It's not just something that blends into the background like your house or your your town does when you're in the same place day after day. So you'd really benefit from getting out and going somewhere you've never gone before, a city you've never visited, um, a, a place you've never been, a convention you've never been. You know, get out and do something new. But you guys are going to have a summer of this beautiful new beginning. And I really, really want to hear about it. It looks like you guys have been through some stuff. And you're now on the starting part of that upward swing. So I'm really excited to hear what you guys have going on and what you have planned for the summer. So, yeah, drop me a comment and let me know what's up. I, I'm really curious. And thank you again so much for checking this out. I really do hope you come back. I have a lot of fun and exciting readings planned and totally appreciate you guys and all that you have messaged and commented. It really, really does make my day. So thank you so much for checking this out and I hope you have a really beautiful June. You deserve it. Thank you so much and please come back to the Done Creative. Alrighty, bye!